Welcome guys, now we will study about some applications of HVDC transmissions system. So the first application that we will study about is HVDC is the unique solution to interconnect asynchronous systems for our grid with different frequencies. So here you can see that one network is uh, supplying power at 50 hertz whereas the other network is supplying power or generating power in the network at 60 hertz so if you want to connect this with ac transmission line then it will not be possible because two different frequencies cannot be connected together so that's why here it comes the advantage of dc link so uh, dc link is is feasible here so AC will be con con converted to DC RMS and then both can be connected together at same voltage levels so this this what type of the model is feasible up to 6 if the power need to be supplied uh, more than 600 megawatts so this is one of the application and it is like uh, DC system is providing flexible uh, coupling of two different networks at different parameters okay another application for HV, HVDC transmission this is the application that we have to consider for example HVDC presents the most economical solution to transmit electrical energy over distances greater than approximately 600 kilometers so if the line length is 600 or more than 600 kilometer uh, eventually this is like a thumb rule that it become economical to use or to connect two different ne networks or areas using HVDC instead of HVAC and this this is again economical if you need to supply over 600 kilometers more than 3000 megawatts so we are understanding now that HVDC is comp always prefer for longer distances for more power transmit requirement for its more also uh, nature uh, near to nature and also green technology you can see because you have, uh, have uh, I have to install a one tower and it's also good for uh, economical also okay another type of application for HVDC transmission systems is HVDC is an alternative for submarine transmission economical even for short distances such as few 10 kilometers or miles so based on different feasible studies feasibility studies it is it was it is uh, found that because for submarine you just have to lay one conductor two conductor maximum for HVDC and small conductors and the cost will be really high if you use AC transmission under submarine under a sea for even shorter distances HVDC is again cheap another uh, application is also underground cables so it is found that with the calculations that HVDC is again economical feasible and preferable or AC transmission if you have to take the cables through the ground so in this one you can see the AC supply is generated at station uh, sending end and then it is converted to DC through the ground then it's again inverted back to AC and then you can see then it can be used here and here this F here we can see is basically harmonic filter installed so here will be actually AC harmonic filter here will be installed DC harmonic filter and then in uh, reactor will be installed in series of the circuit so this is some examples of the applications for HVDC systems thank you